Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Oh, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Oh, the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Here, you need to see this. A book? It's a magic book. Now open it and see why you can't meet your soulmate. Read the words, Magic book in my hand. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? The queen is the most liked. Her score is 80%. You see, dear, as queen I have a reputation to uphold. It was very hard for me to get to 80%, and I can't have you surpass me. But why can't we both reach 100%? No, it's either me or no one. From now on, you will no longer be allowed to leave this castle. But I promised the village kids that I would bring them toys today. So your likeness score can go up? I don't think so. I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you. And one for you. Thank you, princess. Wow, that was very kind of you, princess. Are those your guards? There she is. Get her. You have left the castle without permission, princess. I'm sorry. The queen orders you back now. Uh, don't hold her like that. Wait. My queen, we have found her. You directly disobeyed me. I'm sorry, I... Silence. Look at your score. I didn't mean for that to happen. Your percentage is higher than mine. Shall I still take her into the woods, my queen? Yes, and make sure she doesn't return. <clears throat> I'll make it quick. No, please. Quiet. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Think about my father. What would he want you to do? The king would be so disappointed in me. I can't kill you, princess. You must leave here and never come back. But... Run, now! Hey, shoo! Get out of here! Why are you out in these woods alone? It's a long story, but my blouse, it's stuck in the vines. Don't worry, my dear. I will set you free. Come with me. It's not safe here. Son! Dad, where were... you? I just found this girl. Dad, this is the princess. Are you okay? Yes, but the queen, she's trying to have me killed. Why? I can't believe this is all because she's jealous of you. You can stay here with us as long as you need, princess. Our cabin is safe. Thank you so much. Of course. Here's an extra pillow in case you need it tonight. Thank you. I don't think I caught your name. Right. How rude of me. My name is Zachary, princess. Well, I appreciate your help, Zachary. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. My son and I are off to go hunting. We'll be gone for a few hours. While we're gone, do not open that door to anyone. I promise, I won't. How did you get in here? Go. Be free. I guess the likeness score works on animals, too. Now that I'm at 100%, I get to meet my soulmate. That must be him. Now that I reached 100%, that has to be my soulmate. Who are you? Oh, hello, my dear. I hope I didn't scare you. Actually, I'm not supposed to have strangers- But wait! I'm here to give you your soulmate. In that case, come inside. I brought this for you. An apple? Yes, you must be hungry. I don't like apples. But dear, I sense you're very lonely ever since your parents passed away. How do you know that? Because I'm magic. Isn't that how you feel? Yes, I- I've been so lonely. This is why I'm here, to help you, dear. One bite of this apple will make your soulmate appear. Do you promise? Cross my heart. You'll never be lonely again. Isn't it just... Delicious. <laughs> You're so gullible. <laughs> Princess, we're home. No. This is my fault, Dad. Son. It is. I should have never left her alone. You'll be a queen in heaven. Goodbye, Snow. Soulmate found. Zachary? 
Princess, you're... you're alive. True love's kiss. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what the Queen did. This has gone too far, my dear. You must take back your kingdom. You're right. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? Princess Snow is the most liked. That's impossible. She's dead. Think again. Stepmother, you're under arrest. Guards, take her away. Get off of me! I'll be taking this. No! That belongs to me! That crown belongs to Snow now. And I gotta say, it really suits her. Am I the only one left? Congratulations, you are a finalist. Please make your way to the stadium for the fourth and final round. Final round? I thought there were only three rounds. Jess? Danny? You guessed yours too? Yeah. I wonder how many others did. I don't know. Congratulations, finalists. As you can see, there were only five of you who were able to complete all three rounds. Now you five will compete for the chance to win $100,000. Why would we want the money when all our loved ones are dead? They're not dead. We were holding them in a separate realm until our finalists were revealed. Fill the stadium! See, your loved ones are here. Mom! Jess, win this for us! This round will be different than any other. You will all receive a number 1 through 10, and you can tell each other what their numbers are. But you can also lie to each other. You will have one hour to talk. Then it will be time to make your guess. You only get one. What if we don't guess it? Then you die. Wait a second. We die or we just go to the other realm like our families did? No, you die. There has to be consequences for being a finalist. Okay, well, I don't want to play. Can I just sit in the stadium with my mom? No, you're a finalist. You have to play unless you want to forfeit and die. I shouldn't be a finalist though. Jess, what do you mean? I cheated. You did? Yes, I looked in the mirror. That's the only way I won the rounds. Everyone here cheated. Really? Yes, it's the only way to win the game. But to prevent you all from telling each other you can cheat, we made the rule if you try to tell someone, that person will disappear. That's why when I showed my mom... She disappeared, which made you think you're the only one that could cheat. But everyone here cheated. Now everyone, do you want to play or die now? Ben? Play. Tina? Play. Jonathan? Play. Danny? Play. And Jess, what did you decide? Play. You have one hour to talk to each other. At the end of the hour, you will all make your guess for what your number is. We won't allow any cheating this round. So don't even try looking at your reflection. Let the games begin. So who wants me to tell them what their number is? Jess? Yours is an eight. I didn't ask you, Tina, and frankly, I don't believe you. Good, you shouldn't. She's lying to you. Jess, what's my number? A seven. Ugh, everyone told me a different number. You can't trust anyone here. I don't even know who to believe. Danny, believe me. We both can win this if we're 100% honest with each other. Neither of us have to die. Yeah, you're right. Your number is a three. A three? Yes. Now promise me mine's a seven. Promise. I promise. Jess, you've been awfully quiet. Everything okay? I don't need you getting in my head, Tina. I already know what I'm going to guess. Well, hopefully it's right because your life depends on it. And so does yours, so how about instead of lying to people, you gain someone's trust and tell them the truth? I didn't lie to anyone here. I told Benny at a four, Danny a seven, and you an eight. You told Danny he had a seven? Yeah. But Danny said everyone told him a different number. Well, maybe everyone did. No, I told Danny he had a seven too. That's the problem. You can't trust anyone in here. Everyone, it is time to guess your numbers. Ben, you're up first. Six. That is incorrect. <sighs> Tina, you're next. Three. Jonathan, your turn. Uh, I guess five. That is incorrect. That leaves us with two contestants left. Danny, your turn. I guess seven. That is correct. Congratulations. Jess, guess three. And Jess, if you can guess this, you will split the $100,000 with Danny. Eight. That is correct. Congratulations. <sighs> I can't believe I did it. Me either. You lied to me. I didn't think they were going to allow two winners, okay? I was afraid if we both won, we both would die. Don't ever talk to me again. Jess. Mom. <sighs> Thank God this is all over with. Until next year. They said this would be a yearly thing now. Ooh, mommy's makeup. No!
You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Wanna come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? I like your shirt. Thank you. It's pink, my favorite color. It is? I wouldn't know. I can't see color. Why not? Mommy, why can't I see the color pink? Honey, it's time we have a talk. You'll only be able to see color when you meet your soulmate. So that means it will be a really, really long time until I can see the color pink? Hey, Brianna, what color is this pen? I don't know. <laughs> she can't see color until she meets her soulmate. Hey, babe, don't let them get to you. Hey, babe, are you still fine being with me, even though you're not my soulmate? Come on, you know I don't care about that. Let's go to the movies after school. Yo, bro. Hey, Jason. Brianna, you have to meet my buddy, Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Gummy, gummy. Who was the girl that left the house this morning? How do you know her? Come on, she was just a friend. It's not like that. What's my name? Come on, baby. Don't do this. If you didn't cheat, then tell me my name. Mommy, why doesn't Daddy know your name? Because, sweetie, Daddy cheated on me. When you cheat on someone, you forget the name of the person you cheated on. Hey, baby. Brianna, don't worry. I could never forget your name. I know, I'm just paranoid because my dad cheated on my mom back when I was seven. I love you, I would never cheat on you. Jason's having a party after school. Wanna come? Sure. Hey, you made it. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, you're so funny and so cute. Well, you know, I... Blake? Uh, uh, b b baby, hi. Why don't you know my name? Morning, Daddy. I made you lunch, just how you like it, PB&J. Thank you. Honey, do you need a lunch? No, I got one. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day of high school. I'm so nervous. How about a homemade PB&J sandwich? Will that help? Of course it will help. Morning, Dad. You know what I'm really craving for lunch today? How about a PB&J? How did you know? Must have been a good guess. Dad? Dad? I'm off to college. I could really use one of your PB&Js. Honey, it's time to go. Are you ready? Where's Dad? He makes me PB&Js every single morning. Dad, are you feeling okay? Yeah, why? Your father's been dead for over 10 years. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch? Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. 
There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... You stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra, an organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Let's see your mark. Purple? Purple equals famous. You're five and you still can't read. It says famous. Well, does that mean that I'm going to be famous? You famous? Oh, no, honey. These marks are just for fun. But, um, you should cover yours up. Hey, guys, look who it is. Aw, it's the wannabe famous girl. Would you like to audition for a movie, love? No, thank you. Oh, but you're exactly what we're looking for. That's the script. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. Action. I'm sorry, Derek, but I don't think things are working out between us. I... Okay, cut. But I didn't even get to finish. I know. We saw what we needed. Thank you. Honey, what's that in your hands? Nothing. Was that a script? It wasn't. It was just some homework. It better not be. Now cover up that mark. Is this Tara? Yes. Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you. You got the part for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations. Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, all right. Just don't be too long. So another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts, but other than that, allergic to peanuts, got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing, cover it up. I'm not gonna cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm gonna go. My daughter is gonna be a lead in a movie? Congrats! This is amazing! Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no. You won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey. I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops. Clumsy me. <laughs> I can't breathe.
You're having an allergic reaction. Please, everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney. Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in, mother puts peanuts in- Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no, that's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies, if that's okay. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. <laughs> if I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that- where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. I promise to always protect you. Jessica, stop. What? You can't make promises. If you break it, you'll get a mark. Well, good thing I'm gonna keep it. You're the best. Come on, you two. Dinner's ready. Jess, you got a letter in the mail. I did? From who? I don't know. You'll have to open it. You are one of the few that has never broken a promise. You're invited to attend the School of Magic in the fall. We'll give you a call later this week. I'm gonna be a wizard. Aw, uh, congrats. We're so proud of you. I don't know why it's taking so long. They're probably busy. Did you try calling them? I would, but I looked and they didn't leave a phone number. I'm sure they will call eventually. Incoming call from Academy of Magic. Siri, answer. Answer. My phone. <gasps> Jessica, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Just my head hurts. I'll have the <sighs> doctor come in and give you something for the pain. Was anyone else hurt? The other girl is pretty badly injured. We haven't been able to identify her yet, though. A mark appeared on your hand. You must have broken a promise. It's my sister. 
Gina, are you okay? We don't think she can hear you. We're doing everything we can to save her, but she'll undergo another surgery today. I promise to always protect her. Don't beat yourself up about it. You didn't mean to. It wasn't your fault. Except for it was. The Wizard Academy. Hello? Hi, Jessica. I just wanted to give you all the details for your first day of school tomorrow. We're so excited to have a wizard like you. Maybe if I learn magic, I can save her. Just no one can know I have any work. There. Welcome to Wizard Academy. We have classes from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and here. Everything you need for your classes, you'll find in this backpack. Textbooks, notebooks, potions. Is there a wand in here? You guys watch too much Harry Potter. Not all wizards use wands. Now come on. Welcome to the first day of class, wizards. Before we get started, I'd like to know what spells do you want to know? Yes, you in the back. I'd like to learn a healing spell. <laughs> a healing spell? That one is mighty hard, and you'll be learning it in your 10th year. What else do we want to learn, guys? My sister doesn't have years. I'm gonna have to learn it on my own. <sighs> I suck at magic. Hey, I could help you. Really? Yeah. Wait, is that a mark on your hand? Um. Please, don't tell anyone. I'm going to have to. We have a strict no-mark policy. They could suspend my magic if I don't report it. I'm trying to save my sister. What do you mean? I hurt her. That's how I got this. But I didn't mean to. And now I'm trying to use it to save her. So if you save her, your mark will go away? Fine. I won't tell on you. I'll help you save her. Really? Take me to her. I'll do the spell on her. You can't. It has to be me. I'm the one that has to be able to protect her in order to get rid of my mark. The spell takes years to master, and tomorrow's Saturday, which means they're gonna check our arms for marks. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to learn it by tonight. I really hope you can. I'm not getting it. Just be patient, it takes time. We don't have time. You're right, you're gonna have to try it on your sister. The sun's rising, let's go. Hi, Gina. I hope this doesn't hurt. You got this. It's not doing anything. It's not working. She's flatlining, do something. Gina. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. Jess? Jess, your mark, it went away. How? Because you did protect her by getting someone to help you. You didn't break your promise. Thank you for helping us. I'll see you back in class. Jess, what happened? I'll explain everything. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dogs. <laughs> Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left and you wasted them on me. How pathetic. Your Majesty. You have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> Gu Guards, a witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot. Hello, Queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately? I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl, she's safe and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty, I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but 
I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. <laughs> Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity worth? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your Majesty. Look, I'll give you words. As many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. Your crown? Take over as queen. Okay, class. Did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way. She got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way. Seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone. Let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You are so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden expects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss, why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. <laughs> oh, my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired threw a party, and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. 
Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. 
Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just... just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes. That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? You are such a loser. Why do you even exist? Yeah, get out of this school, loser. Is everything okay? You look upset. Yeah, it's just my soulmate's getting bullied. You failed your math test again? You are a disgrace to this family. Go to your room. I don't even want to see your face. Oh, he is not having a good day today. Are you ready to go yet? Hey, I'm so sorry, but I've been cheating on you this whole relationship with your best friend, and I'm leaving you for him. Yikes, that one's gotta hurt. And then I was like- I have your coffee, ladies. Whoa, whoa. My new shoes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I am too, idiot. That was a little harsh. What am I gonna do? My shoes are ruined. You spilled coffee on a customer's shoe? That's it. I'm not giving you any more chances. You're fired. Hey, I just wanted to let you know the coffee bean spilt on my shoes was no big deal. Don't worry about it. I already fired him. No, he doesn't need to be fired. It's too late. It's already done. Wait, don't go. Go away. It's your fault I got fired. My fault? It's not my fault you spilled coffee all over me. Just leave me alone. Fine. Such a jerk. I can't believe you lost your job. Get out of this house. I never want to see you here again. What? His family's kicking him out. Do you even know where he lives? He lives nearby this coffee shop. I'm sure of it. He was walking home from here when he got fired. There he is. I heard you got kicked out. Don't worry. You can stay with me. I don't even know you. And how do you know that? I can hear what you hear. How is that even possible? I'm your soulmate. You found your soulmate? I'm so jealous. Oh my gosh, Jonathan, I've missed you so much. Mwah. Who is she? Who? He's talking to a girl, and she's British. You should just ask him about her. No, I need to see how this plays out. Jonathan, do you think after we're finished class, we could go get some lunch together? They're going on a date. He's cheating on me. Jonathan, you look so handsome in that new coat. Stop flirting with my man. You really just need to go and talk to him about this. Yeah, you're right. They are so done for. That's not what I meant. Get away from my man. Brianna, it's so nice to meet you. Quit the chit chat. 
I heard you flirting with my soulmate. Brianna, that's my cousin. She's visiting from England. Oh, I got a choice. Crush likes you back or better choice? No, you know what? Maybe we're just not meant to be together. Get into Harvard? That's the school of my dreams. This better give me something great. A billion dollars? You know what? No, I have to choose a better option. Maybe I'll get two billion dollars. Magic beans? Whoa, they must be super magical if they're better than a billion dollars. I have to try it. Did you make a choice yet? Yeah, I chose magic beans, but I'm not sure when I'll get them. Well, I'm sure they'll show up at some point. Yeah. <laughs> My beans! All right, let's try one. Purple. Oh my gosh. Who are you? I'm a genie. I can grant you three wishes. Whoa. So these beans give me a genie? Not exactly. Each different color is associated with a different supernatural being which you can use. You chose me, which is a genie. Whoa! Do you know your first wish? No, I need time to think. I don't want to waste any of my wishes. I'm parched. I need a drink. Here you go. Thanks! No, that wasn't a wish! Have you decided your next wish? No, I don't know yet. Just give me some time! That wasn't a wish! What is your last wish? Last wish? I haven't even gotten one wish. You know what? I wish for more wishes. I can't do that. That's against the law. Well, I haven't decided yet. So just leave me alone. And she's gone. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch? Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> Hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're- Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... You stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <coughs> Kara? <coughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra, an organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. 
Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Three, two, one. Happy, Happy New Year. Year! Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Okay. You got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation, as they could be a potential threat to normals and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go. We're late. W where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. Let's see your mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. <sighs> but she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? She must be the one. It can't be. Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm-hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know. Uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten? No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The Prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. 
You have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl. Any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on. Let's get to class. Oh, look. It's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, Mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm going to get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay, then. Be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do, though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you, now does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please. I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes, I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay. At least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Whoa, she has a hundred lives. I wish I had a hundred lives. I'd have so much fun. Hey, Brianna, do you want to come jump off buildings with us later? 
No, I'm super busy. I'll pass today. Thank you, though. Come on, you have so many lives, you should use them. She has so many lives, and she doesn't even use them. That's so boring. If I had that many lives, I would not be like her. Did you want to come drowning with us? Not today. Sorry. Are you sure? It's going to be so much fun. I'm sure. Hello? Honey, come quick. We were in a terrible accident. Your sister's in critical condition. She's not going to make it. She'll need at least 99 lives to survive. Take mine. But honey, you only have one life left. And that's all I need. Just do it. Hey, you're awake. Yes, sissy. I feel so much better. Uh, where'd your lives go? You have to cover up your one life, or people will see you as a target. A target? Yes. They see people with one life as weak and want to eliminate them all. Why'd you cover up your lives? I was just sick of everyone bringing up how many lives I have. I just thought covering them up would be easier. You know, most people that cover up their lives only cover it up because they only have one life and they're scared. Last time you saw me, I had a hundred lives. How would I lose lives that fast? You know I never use them. Hey man, we should wipe that makeup right from her forehead and see how many lives she truly has. Good idea. It's against the law to cover up your lives anyways, and we don't want any one-lifers hanging around here. Whoa, Brianna, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, it's just really hot in here. Brianna, you only have one life left? I knew it. Let's get her! How many words did you get this year? Zero? That's even less than last year. It's okay, baby. Don't be upset. How about I take you shopping? It will cheer you up. You like that dress? Alright, let's go buy it then. Oh, you want to try it on first? Alright, let's go. I'm very sorry, sir, but it's only one person per change room. No, I have to come with her. She's gonna need help with the zipper. Don't worry, sir. I'll be there to help her with that. Please wait here. Oh, it looks like you got the zipper just fine on your own. Help me. Help you, I... Do you know that man? Here, I'll donate some words to you. I contacted the police. They're already on their way. You tell them everything when they get here, okay? Wait right here. I'll be right back. What did I hear about the police? Let's go. We're going home. How could you do that to me? You're trying to leave me? That's it. No food for a week. I'm so sorry I had to take away your food, baby. You know I love you, but you trying to run away really broke my heart. Really? Is that how it is? No water today. Listen to me, baby. If you apologize, I'll give you your water privileges back. Police, open up! I'm in here! 